I <laughs> just got out of the shower. Um, but welcome back to another vlog. My name is Lauren. If you're new, it's time to test out Hailey Bieber's skincare for the first time. I saved it. I received it on Monday and it's Saturday. So I've been waiting to do a first impression of the peptide glazing fluid which I'm super excited to try. I've already been using the lip balm. I got it in the watermelon slice scent or flavor and I love it. I feel like there's not a lot in the tube, which is like a con. I feel like there's not a whole lot of product. So they restocked Thursday of this week and I picked up the three pack of them. So I'm excited to try the other scents even though one is unscented and the other one is salted caramel. So I've been loving this. Highly, highly recommend the lip treatment. I feel like it plumps and really hydrates and lasts and it's not like super sticky on your lips. So it looks like this. It's really small. There's honestly not a lot. That's what it looks like. I should have looked at the instructions. One to two pumps. Avoid eye area. I just rubbed it all over my eyes. First impression, I feel like it definitely really hydrated my skin. This is replacing my ordinary niacinamide because I believe there's niacinamide in here. So I'm excited to keep using it. I do want to do a first impression, but I already literally love the lip balm. It's so good. So I wanted to do a first impression, but I'm going to continue getting ready. I have a nail appointment in like two hours. So I'm going to get ready for that and then I'll probably pick up the camera again then. <laughs> I went in to the nail salon wanting to get navy blue, but got orange. And then got some Jersey Mike's for lunch. And it's really rainy outside. Do you think it's going to be like this all weekend? So it's really cloudy. I love the orange totes. They kind of pick up a little red though. Okay, it's a lot later. I've been really bad. At vlogging today I feel like I haven't vlogged at all really I haven't picked up the camera since I got back from getting my nails done which was hours ago it's 6 45 and we're about to leave to go I think we're gonna get sushi I keep forgetting the name of the sushi place but it's in Winter Park Village I'll show you when we get there it's really good and yeah it's just been rainy I've been sitting on the couch watching TV online shopping honestly and haven't really moved so just like a comfy outfit for dinner. This is what I've been wearing literally all day. Um, this top is coming out like black, but it's green. It's from Set Active. It's the same color green that I have in the matching set. I got it in this one shoulder top and I think it's so cute, but it's kind of picking up black, but it's not. It's like that green color. And I also got it in like the stone. Um, color, but I'll link it down below if they have it in stock, but they have tons of colors in this one shoulder style It's really rainy and gross outside and I think that's how it's gonna be all weekend which kind of messes with our 4th of July plans because it is 4th of July weekend. I don't really know um, What our plan is now, but it's kind of weather dependent. But anyways, that's the update. Let's go get some sushi <music>
guys, I'm so bummed. It's, let me put this away. I'm so bummed because I really wanted to get out in the sun this weekend. It is 4th of July weekend, like I mentioned, I think yesterday. And it's just raining. And I wanted to get a tan. We were supposed to go out on the boat today. But the weather just like looked not promising. So I've just been sitting on the couch. I haven't changed out of my PJs. I'm kind of bummed. Maybe tomorrow will be better. But honestly, tomorrow I'm like doing a ton of laundry. My laundry basket is so full. It's literally like a mountain. I haven't touched it this week. I haven't done any laundry. So tomorrow I'll probably be like doing a bunch of laundry. Doing the grocery shop of the week. That's about it. I'm going to start another YouTube video and just relax on the couch. The rain makes me so sleepy, so maybe I'll like take a nap, which I literally never do. So I walked to my closet and I was like, this is, this has to get taken care of today. Let me just show you. Can we take a second? This is what I need to start on. I literally walked to my closet and I was like, this is not, this is not okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I have to start a little laundry. So I'm going to do that now. I just can't even look at that. That's absolutely insane. So we're going to start a load. <laughs> we're going to do this right now. later we spent the past like three hours watching stranger things i know season four just came out but we started it from the beginning i watched season one and i guess season two years ago when they first came out but i don't really remember everything that happened like some things that happened in the episode i'm like oh yeah that happened or oh yeah this is what's going on or like the general idea of the show but christian's never seen it so we're watching it and we watched three episodes so we're on episode four and it's really good but everyone at my office is watching obviously season four this weekend and um, everyone has said it's so good season three was so good so I'm excited to get there and um, now we're going to um, a Colombian restaurant called Super Rico. It's in downtown. I used to get it a lot when I worked at my old job. Well, not a lot, but we used to get it often when it was like a work anniversary or like someone's birthday. They would order us all food and most of the time that's what someone would pick because it's really good. Um, so we're going there and Christian's never had it and we've been talking about it for a few weeks that we've been like wanting to go, but I always forget about it. But today I finally remembered it was like we need to try it. So we're going there. I don't know how people with small heads wear trucker hats because I feel like it looks so weird on my head and I like wanted it to be cute but it's like not I don't know if it's because my hair's up or if I'm just not used to wearing like a hat this big or if it's this part we're just gonna go with it so I am in the car on the way or about to be on the way to Dunkin Donuts because I really want to try their butter pecan flavoring in their coffee and I'm really excited. I haven't had Dunkin Donuts in a really long time, but I've been like seeing it on TikTok, on Instagram, people getting it and loving it. So I really want to try it. So we're going to go there and it's a really nice day outside. It's, um, it's Monday and um, it's the 4th of July and I have it off today. So that's why I think I want to lay outside in the pool because I don't think it's supposed to rain until later today. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to really rain until like 4 o'clock, which is beautiful day, beautiful day. So I think I'm going to go back and put on my bathing suit, but I really want to try this coffee. So let's go to Dunkin'. I can't take myself seriously with this hat, but like it's totally fine. 
What's your guys' favorite Dunkin' Donuts drink? Because I want to try them. Can I do a medium iced coffee with um, two pumps of the butter pecan and sure. a splash of cream? Okay, I waited till I got home to try it because I didn't want to do it while I was driving. But I just got a medium iced coffee with two butter pecan swirl or flavors, two pumps, and then one cream. I think I'd probably only do one pump of flavoring and then like one cream or maybe like a splash of almond milk because it is really sweet. It's good. I probably only do one pump though. Okay, I'm gonna go in, make breakfast, change into a bathing suit, and then we're gonna lay out by the pool. Okay, I was just thinking about this. I was drinking the coffee and the more that I drink it, the better that it gets, honestly. Um, I'm just not used to drinking sweet coffee because the only thing that I really add to my coffee is nut pods, which is unsweetened, and oat milk. So this is what I usually add. So I think I was just like, whoa, it's like really sweet. But it's really good, and it's kind of reminding me of the discontinued Starbucks toffee nut um, sweetener that I used to get. I used to always get a coffee with like two pumps of toffee nut and it was so good. And I think that's kind of what it's reminding me of. It's definitely super similar. got home from going out in the lake and being out in the sun and on the jet ski Christian and I had such a good time and then we went and got lunch at a place called Banbury's really close by and also sorry if you can hear music in the background everyone's blasting music at the pool I can like hear it right now so sorry if you can hear that but we just got back from going to the grocery store after lunch we decided like let's just go to the grocery store now because we both knew that right when we got back home I didn't want to go back out and go to the grocery store. Christian didn't want to go back out and go to the grocery store. So we just went to the grocery store really quick before we got home. I'll show you what we got really quick before I get in the shower. But um, we're doing something easy for dinner. I mean, not dinner. <laughs> we're doing something easy for lunches this week because I literally just don't feel like meal prepping today. And it's a four day week. So we're just doing something easy. This is what I love about Publix. They have these like pre-made chicken salads. I got some edamame for, we're gonna do the salmon rice bowls this week, like the famous ones, so I got some edamame for that. Just got one pineapple, got some green onion for the salmon rice bowls, red pepper for like breakfast or dinners, whatever. Some grapes, asparagus for dinners, lemons, bananas, got a cucumber for the salmon rice bowls. I think we're gonna do this for dinner. We ate like a really late lunch. It's already 5.30, but we ate lunch around like 3.30. So we're just gonna probably like wanna be at home. So I got some pasta to make. It's a sweet Italian sausage tortellini. Never tried this type of tortellini, but it's probably delicious. We got this brand for ravioli and it's so good. Got some root beer poppies. Just been like really craving soda lately. Don't know why. So this is like a healthier alternative to soda. So I got two of those, a white onion, Got some avocados. They're all not ripe, but I'm gonna leave this one out on the counter so it ripens. And then I'm gonna put these in the fridge to kind of like pause the shelf life. Some Brussels sprouts. I really just didn't want to go to like an ethnic grocery store just for one thing. I didn't have time today and I honestly, well, I didn't make time, let's be honest, <laughs> to go. So we were trying to figure out which one the best one would be to put on the 
salmon rice bowl so we just went with this one i tried another type of sriracha mayo and it was so disgusting it tasted like chemicals and plastic it was so gross so hopefully this one's good and i got some coconut yogurt for breakfast to go with the pineapple and some granola so that's the grocery haul i'm gonna put this stuff away i'm gonna get in the shower i'm probably gonna wash my hair just because i've been wearing a hat all day it's probably not gonna look good at all tomorrow so we're just gonna wash it tonight